Hello everyone, my name is Rita Jensen and I'm here to share with you um, my latest journal which is called The Bee's Knees. It is a design uh, from Shabby Dabby Duda. Uh, she is uh, has an Etsy shop um, where I uh, can purchase uh, papers and print them out and that's the ones I used in this journal plus a couple other people. But um, anyway, um, so the back cover is um, a heavy, um, fringy sort of fabric, um, loose weave, and then I put a lace uh, border here. This is a, a die cut flower, and then this is part of the um, uh, papers that she had. And then the back is the lace is carried over all across the back and it's all been glued down. Each corner has a corner um, metal tip on it. And um, the size is uh, eight and a half high by six wide. And there are 68 pages. It is a single signature. So if you're um, watching as a Etsy uh, purchaser, this will be the first time you see it. My subbies on YouTube have watched me make this whole journal, and this is the final flip through. Okay, so I may explain a little bit more during that time. So I've tied it with a seam binding. This is black vintage seam binding. And in the first of the book is a pocket, and then there's a note from the journal maker, who's me. And this page here actually was um, printed through um, Janie B's Digitals. I had um, printed that out and I just thought it was cool. I just loved it. So we have journaling space here and journaling space here. Then in this side, we have a pocket here. There's two pockets. This one has a notebook here that you can pull out and you can write in, journal in. And then we have two tags, well, three tags that you can write on the backs of those tags. A lot of the tags I used a brown uh, paper, almost like um, a tissue, but a little bit stronger than that, but it'd be fun to write on it, okay? And then there is a spot up here if you wanna add another um, something note or whatever up there. Uh, this page is, obviously you cannot journal on there, but you can post, uh, put a picture or you can just um, glue on another piece of paper if you'd like or staple it at the top. You can do that kind of thing. I do it all the time. Uh, this is a little bee charm here. It's kind of a bronze color with some bling in it. It's pretty. And then the lace along the sides are all black lace. Journaling page, journaling page, journaling. This is a, a belly band that I use this tag for, and there's a journaling card there, and you can stuff in a lot more into that belly band. This is a page where you can also add a piece of paper if you'd like, or you can journal with a darker pen, or you can put photographs. Uh, this is another uh, page from the kit, which is really neat. I didn't want to cover it up. I just like looking at it. Journaling spot here. This is all coffee dyed paper, by the way. Uh, this is vintage paper here. It's a out of a um, date book. Um, I have Saturday, March 10th, March 11th. I made this in March, so that's why I use those dates. Uh, here's a pocket with a tag back there to write on. And this one also has a little pocket in the back if you want to add another uh, tag or a piece of notebook paper or something like that where you've written, kind of hide it away. Journaling page here, you can journal on this page. Journal, journal. These are all coffee dyed. This one here is a little um, pocket tuck and this inside is a little folded up notebook and it has pages in here that you can journal on. Several pages. Then back there is a pocket and a little journaling spot there. So it's kind of a hidden away pocket. And then do, this just pops right down into there, so it stays. And then into there. Journaling space here. This is vintage uh, paper also. Um, here's another B uh, bronze color. This is a journal card here. A little bumblebee, and I think I closed that one off in the back. Yeah, so I think that's really cute. 
um, more lace, journaling space. I always have a lot of journaling pages because I think people really need to have that. This can be journaled, journal here, journal here. You could journal on some of these areas here, journaling. Here's a little, um, uh, this is the center of the uh, first, well, there's only one signature, but this is the center, and I've done some design work back here, and then I've got tags and journal cards stuck in here. Um, there's a place for here. You can write a date if that is important to you, those little um, uh, labels, more journaling card, another one, and I decorated that side with some flowers in there. And... This one is clipped on with a paper clip. It's a rusty paper clip. And then it comes off and then you can journal on both sides of this. So there's two sides. So that just sits on top of there. And then you can put this little clip there to hold it in place. This one here is a journal, uh, is a pocket folder. Here's a journal space here. There's two um, little journal cards in this pocket. And this uh, comes out, and this is a journal card. So when you take it out, this is uh, acetate here. When you take it out, you can see that B behind there. And then when you put it back in, you can see um, this part of the picture of that journal card. And then there's a tuck back here with a journal card back there. So plenty of journal space there, fun stuff. Another journal page. Uh, this little pocket here is um, clipped on with a paper clip, a rusty one again. And this is a handmade um, button that I made. And you can see how to do that if you want to watch one of my videos. You can go back and look for that uh, button. This is a journal, um, I mean a jeweler's um, pocket. And then inside here is a uh, journaling card. And there's room for more journal cards too, so you can add. But um, I thought that turned out really cute. And then that just um, clips on to the top of this page. Okay. Journaling space. This is a little French ephemera um, paper. This is in my Etsy shop. I have a, a selection of these. I think there's four four pages, it's like 99 cents or something like that. It's not very expensive. Um, and if you favor my channel, if you, um, then when something comes up that I sell, it will notify you. So if this is not the journal for you, but you think that you'd like to look at more of my journals, then um, they will notify you when one comes available. Okay, this has, um, this is a little uh, fold out and I put a little charm here with a feather on it. And then this folds out, let's see. Okay, so this opens up this way <laughs> and then it opens up this way and then it opens up this way. And then it's it's got journaling space on, on the back of here. Okay, so this is all tabbed on with that piece of fabric right there. All right, so that just folds up like that. I never remember exactly how it opens up, but that's how it opens up. And then it's also on the back. So that was a fun one to make. And then the journaling space there, journaling. Here's another piece of that um, vintage paper from that date book. 1964, that dated. This is um, out of a... Uh, garden uh, dictionary and there was some uh, things about bees on here you can read journaling here's a little po uh, little uh, paper clip ultra paper clip this little postcard envelope is just for writing journaling on and that sits back there like that and there's the back and there's a pocket and there's two more journal cards I mean, um, tags back here. So um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's 68 pages, so there's plenty of room. And I will be listing this um, hopefully today. And I hope uh, someone will find it 
interesting and fun to to have and to own so thank you so much for watching thank you subbies for um watching all my videos i really appreciate it and um everyone have a wonderful day thank you